In the world of economics, two terms frequently emerge when discussing the health of an economy, gross domestic product, or GDP, and gross national product, or GNP. While both measure the economic output of a country, they do so in slightly different ways, focusing on different aspects of production and income. This distinction is vital for understanding how a nation's economic health is assessed. Let's break down the concepts of GDP and GNP, their differences, and how they are used in economic analysis. What is GDP? Gross domestic product is the total monetary value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders over a specific period, typically a year or a quarter. It is a widely used measure to gauge the size and strength of an economy. GDP is divided into four major components. They are number one, consumption, total value of goods and services consumed by a country's households. 2. Investment. Spending on capital goods that will be used for future production. 3. Government spending. All consumption, investment, and payments made by the government for current use. Public expenditures on goods and services. And 4. Net exports. Value of exports minus imports. Formula for GDP. GDP equals C plus I plus G plus X minus M. Where C equals consumption, equals investment, G equals government spending, X equals exports, and M equals imports. Let's discuss what is GNP. GNP is another metric used to measure a country's economic output. Where GDP looks at the value of goods and services produced within a country's borders, GNP is the market value of goods and services produced by all citizens of a country, both domestically and abroad. While GDP is an indicator of the local or national economy, GNP represents how its nationals are contributing to the country's economy. It factors in citizenship but overlooks location. In essence, GNP focuses on the economic activities of a country's citizens or corporations, regardless of where they are located. For example, if a country's citizens or corporations own companies or investments abroad, the income from those sources will be counted in GNP but not in GDP. Conversely, if foreign companies are earning money within the country, that income will be included in GDP but not in GNP. GNP can be calculated as GNP equals GDP plus NR minus NP, where GDP equals gross domestic product, NR equals net income receipts from foreign, and NP equals net outflow to foreign assets. Key differences between GDP and GNP. Location versus ownership. GDP focuses on production within a country's borders, regardless of who owns the resources. On the other hand, GNP focuses on the income of a country's residents regardless of where the production or income occurs. Foreign income. GDP does not include income earned by nationals from overseas investments, but it includes income earned by foreign entities within the domestic economy. GNP includes income earned by nationals or companies from foreign investments, but excludes income earned by foreign entities within the domestic economy. Indicator of economic activity. GDP is often seen as the best measure of the overall economic activity happening within a country. GNP is considered a better measure of the economic well-being of a nation's residents. If you find the video helpful, please like the video that will be helpful for my channel. Let's understand with a practical example. Let's consider a multinational company like Apple. The production of iPhones in China contributes to China's GDP but contributes to the United States' GNP because Apple is a U.S. company, and its profits ultimately return to the U.S., which is more useful. GDP and GNP are crucial economic performance indicators, but they are used in different contexts. Policymakers may use GDP to assess a country's overall economic activity and make domestic policy decisions. GNP, however, may be more relevant when assessing the income of residents, particularly for countries with significant foreign investments or multinational corporations. In practice, developed countries often focus on GDP as a measure of economic health because they usually have balanced domestic and foreign investment flows. 
Developing countries might look at GNP more closely if their nationals rely heavily on income from overseas remittances or foreign-owned companies operating domestically. Understanding the difference helps to provide a more nuanced view of how a country's economy functions and the well-being of its citizens. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.